Hey loves, so we're going to be starting off this makeup transformation with a fresh clean base, right? Now I'm going to go ahead to use this essence from Koshrex. And this is the first thing I like to do. I like to make sure that my face is properly hydrated. When it comes to doing Naomi's uh, makeup look or Supermodel's makeup look, skin is very important. So I'm going ahead to use this serum from U Skin and it's a vitamin C serum. I'm going to be using this on my skin to help brighten, make it more plump. And this, guys, I love this. This one is from Yves Rocher and I use this as my moisturizer as well as my primer. This is going to keep my face hydrated, lock in the moisture and just add a little bit of shine and glow to my skin. Now for my foundation, I'm using the Maybelline Fits Me foundation. And this is in the shade Warm Coconut 5356. I'm gonna be using just a sheer amount of this because again, with makeup, we are building it up basically layer by layer. And when it comes to doing Naomi's makeup or supermodel's makeup, um, you're pretty much focusing on the skin. You want the skin to look like skin. You don't want it to be cakey. You don't want it to be too much. You just want it to be like an enhanced version of your skin. So I'm going in with the Juvia's Place um, Stake Foundation. This one is in the shade Katsina. And I'm using this to chisel out my face, to kind of work on my bone structure, to add structure and definition to my facial structure, right? I'm gonna enhance my face by creating shadows and creating depth, right? So I'm gonna be blending this out and I'm trying to be as light-handed and as soft um, with this as possible. Again, like I said, with makeup, you are building. So you definitely wanna start off light-handed. You wanna start off small and then work your way and build your way up towards the level of coverage that you want. Now I'm gonna head to use a concealer brush to just brush out that contour that we did on our nose. Again, Naomi always has a snatched nose. I'm gonna be snatching my nose, but also trying to keep it as natural as possible. I'm gonna be using this stick foundation again from Juvia's Place in the shade Mauritania. And I'm using this to highlight my face a little bit to add structure, to add brightness to it, to kind of bring it forward, to enhance the features that I want to be enhanced. The bridge of my nose, underneath my eyes, you know, you know the areas that you typically highlight. I'm going to just be blending that out using the same um, brush that we use for the contour and I'm just blending this out right now again I went ahead to wipe off the contour product off this brush But I'm also using this to kind of share it out at the same time I'm just working on the areas. I have less product before I go in to the center of my face <music> Again guys, if you notice with this, I, I'm hardly packing on a lot of product. I'm trying as much as possible to use a little bit of product again because I'm going to be layering and layering products like I said. So first of all, we started with the foundation and now we're going in to highlight and contour. So again, it's layers and you want to build it up. You don't want any layer to be too heavy when it comes to creating like a natural look. So for concealer, I'm going to be using this one from Beauty by AD. This is a Nigerian brand, amazing. I'm going to be using the shade Bad 05. I'm using this just underneath my eyes. Now, while I'm letting that set, you know, settle in and kind of get a little bit tacky, I'm going ahead to use my beauty sponge to just blend in everything. So I'm blending in my foundation, the highlights that we did, as well as the contour. Now I'm adding this Fenty Beauty lip stunner in the shade Obsense uncensored right i'm using this as my liquid blush i'm just adding a little bit of it on my cheeks just to create a little bit of you know color bring color and life to my face now i'm using this concealer brush and i'm just patting in the product i don't want it to share out too much i'm just focusing it on the center of my face and i'm starting from the outer corners i'm starting from the outer um, layers and i'm just kind of blending and sharing it out before I go in into like the inner 
corners where there's a lot of product as you guys can see i'm patting this i'm literally pressing this into my skin and i'm trying as much as possible not to share this out as much as possible right so i'm just sharing this out and i'm trying to blend it into my nose blend it into like my cheek area so that that way everything kind of blends properly again using my beauty sponge i'm just going all over my face with this i'm trying to blend everything in so that way there are no harsh lines everything looks flawless but also looks natural we don't want the makeup to look too cakey we don't want it to look too artificial we just want it to enhance our facial structures and create that natural flawless look so i'm blending out underneath my eyes because i'm going to go ahead and set it down i'm just blending out any crease and i'm going to be using this setting powder again from juvia's place in the shade kalahari i'm using this to set my under eye so that way it does not crease but i'm also adding a little bit of brightness underneath the eyes as you guys can't see right now and i'm pressing in the excess product i don't want my face to be cakey like i said i just want to set it down so i'm not using a lot of product i'm going to also set you know my forehead but i'm using just a tiny bit of product as well as my chin <laughs> and my cupid's for over here as well as the corners of my nose as well as the bridge of my nose as well so we're just highlighting at the same time and i'm loving how it's looking right now Okay, so moving on, I'm going to just um, set down and lock in all of our products that we had applied. I'm going to be using my um, press powder and I'm going to be just dabbing that onto my face. The areas that we did not highlight, I'm trying to blend it in, but also set it down. But I'm not trying to be heavy handed or use a lot of product again, because I do want this to look like skin and not like powder, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I'm trying as much as possible not to use a lot of products and I'm just pressing and blending as at the same time. So moving on, I'm going to be using this um, pressed powder from Maybelline. This is like a, like a powder that I have. However, it's like a shade lighter than me. So I'm using this to carve my um, the bridge of my nose just to add a little bit of shadow and definition as well. I want my nose to be chiseled because if you know Naomi, her nose is like, oof, yeah. So I'm going ahead to use a little bit of concealer on my eyelids. Nothing too crazy, just a little bit. And I'm also blending this out into my brows. I'm not going to be defining my brows, guys. I'm not going to be concealing it or whatsoever. That's all I'm going to be doing. And when I had to set my, my eyelids with a loose setting powder, now I'm going ahead to just highlight my face lightly using this Heroine Glow by Juvia's Place. It's a highlight palette and it's amazing. So I'm going to be using this just add a little bit of glow, shine, health <laughs> you know to my skin but also to my face at the same time so that way every angle pops i'm also adding this to the bridge of my nose now naomi is a neutral girl you know if you're in the modeling industry neutral is where it is at there's something so natural about neutral tones or new tones i'm going to be using this palette from revolutions pro and it's the nude on nude i'm going to be using this dark shade because um i think she had like a dark shadow going on but i do not want to use black so i'm going to be using that deep brown shade just to create like a depth on the outer corners of my eyes i'm also winging it out at the same time but also blending it inwards at the same time as you guys can see i'm trying to be gentle as possible with my application now i'm also using that same shade to create depth underneath my lash line this is going to serve as um should i call it like an eyeliner i'm not going to be using an eyeliner i'm just going to be using this so that way everything kind of um comes together so i'm going to be blending the eyeshadow we just applied inwards now moving on i'm going to be using these two shades it's like uh i don't know what shades it's like a rose gold and like a silver shimmery shade 
I'm going to be using this on my leads as well as on the inner corners of my leads just to make my eyes pop if you're taking pictures this is going to look amazing because it's going to just stand out and it's going to pop at the same time and I'm guessing this is what Naomi had maybe not the same exact shade but definitely something like this I'm going to be using this mascara from Fenty Beauty and I'm going to just be adding volume um, texture to my eyelashes so that way it's easier for me to apply my eyelashes my false lashes I want to have to do that off camera guys because that usually takes time and now I'm just applying more mascara to my bottom lash line going in with a brown lip pencil I think this one is from black opal I'm not sure but I'm going to be using this to line my lips and I'm just creating this oval shape as you guys can see right here her lips are sort of like oval shape if that makes sense and it's just her lips are kind of sexy and I love it I'm going in with this kind of pinkish nude shade from new band beauty it's a high gloss in the shade daisy and i'm using this as my lipstick lip gloss um lip paint whatever you want to call it this is what it looks like it's so flirty it's girly it's barely there and i'm loving it so to seal everything all in i'm using this um seal it spray by new band beauty and i'm spraying this all over my face just to melt everything down and i'm going to go ahead to just blend my makeup into my hairline into my wig line and again um naomi has some sort of like a brown hazel eyes so i'm using this contact just to kind of replicate that and this is what we're looking like so i'm using this brow pencil from beauty by ad notice guys i did not do my brows before but i'm doing it now what i'm doing is just filling in the strokes and brushing it out i'm trying to create like a feathered look i don't want anything too defined i don't want anything too harsh i want it to look as natural as possible i did laminate my brows because i did that at home by myself and i'll have a video coming up on this on this brow lamination and i'm loving it guys so to make everything pop i'm using my fenty beauty gloss bomb fenty glow lip gloss this gloss is everything to me and more and i'm using that on my lips and this is what it looks like guys this right here is the final look and i hope you guys love it let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section did we kill it or did we kill it <laughs>